Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be solving this problem which says find the number of ways you can get from point A to point B by using the shortest pathway. So when it says by using the shortest pathway, you can't go from point A to this point, this point, and then back to this point because that wouldn't be the shortest pathway. An example of a shortest pathway would be going from this point to this point, this point, this point, this point, then this point, this point, and then to point B here. So how many number of ways can you get from point A to point B by using the shortest path? There are actually two ways to solve for this, and one is by actually just counting all of the number of ways. And to do that, so first, to get to this part, there's only one way, right? So to get from point A to this part by using the shortest pathway. So like you can't go to this point by going to this point, to this point, and then to this point. That wouldn't be the shortest path. And so there would be only one way. So I'm going to write one right here. Slanted one. And to get to this point, there's only one way also to get from here to here. One way. There's also one way for this part and this part. And there's only one way for to get to here and here and here from point A. And to get to this part, it is one way and two way or you can do one plus one which makes two and to get to this part it you can do one way two way or three way or you can just add the two and the one together and to get to this part you can do one two three or four ways, or you can just add three and one. So I think you get the point. You don't have to count at all. You can just add, add these together. So this part would be five. This part would be one plus two, so three. To get to this part, it would be three plus three, which is six. To get to this part, it would be 6 plus 4, which is 10. To get to this part, it's 10 plus 15, which makes 15. To get to this part, it's 4. To get to this part, it's 10. To get to this part, it's 10 plus 10, so 20. And finally, to get to point B, it would be 20 plus 15, which is 35. Now, if we had more squares and we were trying to find for the number of ways we can get from point A to point B, this wouldn't be the best option. The next way to find for the number of ways you can get from point A to point B will be a little bit faster. So what you do is, I'm going to make a duplicate of this rectangle and then I'll show you guys how to solve for it. Okay, I drew it but it's more like rectangles here but it's okay because we're not gonna have to write all of the numbers like we did here. And so to solve it in this faster way, we're first going to name this part A, this part A, this part A and this part A, and these parts, B, B, and B. And so we have four A's and four B's, and they're all the same. So if we wrote, wrote out a sequence, so like A, A, B, B, A, B, A, A, this would be one way to get from point A to point B without like going back to where it's more near point A. So this would be a short path, this a one of the shortest paths to get from point A to point B. 
So like, so we have A first, so that would be going to this point, B, so to this point, and then B again, so to this point, and then A, this point, B, up one, so this point, and then A, A. So we got from A, point A to point B by using this, and so there, so instead of counting it all like this, why not just use these, these seven letters to solve for the number of ways you can get from point A to point B. So, like, since we have seven in total that you can use, one, two, four, seven, we can just mix up these seven places so that would be seven factorial but since since they are not like a sub one a sub two a sub three a sub four they are not like this the a's and the b's are all the same it's just a a a a not a sub one a sub two a sub three so since we have the same four of a's we're going to divide seven factorial by 4 factorial and also divide by 3 factorial since we have the same 3 of these. So this would be our answer for the number of ways you can get from point A to point B by using the shortest pathway. But if we simplify to this, we would get 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial by the way cancel out with 4 factorial in the denominator, divide by 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2, so that's 6. These, these two 6 can cancel out, which makes 35. So we got the same answer as we got before, right? But that only took long because I was explaining, and if you just practice this many times and you'll be able to do this very quickly, a lot quicker than this. That will be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.